Hey, what up? It's uh, Uncle Jesse with you. Welcome. Time to do 2018-19 NBA Hoops Basketball. Half case number six. Again. Get your popcorn ready. Because we're going to be here for a while. All right. First of all, it would help if you could see what's going on. Oh, it's like a newborn. It's just getting its eyesight for the first time. All righty. Where for art thou? This should be, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. This. Boom. Boom. All righty. Okie doke, artichokes. Let me grab, I need to grab the case. Utility knife. Dude, I lose this thing on a daily basis. But I find it on a daily basis. Alright, somebody jacked it from here. Oh boy. What's up, uh, Empire? How are you? How are you, Empire? How was everybody's weekend? Did everybody have a good time doing whatever they were doing? CBJ when you need him. I could sure use his help uh, opening up all these packs here. You got two days off tonight. There you go, Empire. Well, listen. I may, may I suggest, you know, buying into breaks that are close to filling? Uh, which we should have a few of them in the store. I think that Hoops is uh, close to going. Yeah, Hoops is at 14. We got that Prism 4 box random team break. That is at 27 left, but that's hella cheap. 18 bucks to get you something. A random team. Uh, PYT 3 of Prism's at 17. We should be able to get that filled tonight. I want to get some of the older stuff filled too, man. I want to get rid of that Immaculate, that last case of 5 star. That gold label we got. That contenders draft picks uh, baseball too. We got NT filled. Shout out to my man Carl. We got that done. And we got this done right here. That's how you start a break right there, baby. 
Marvin Bagley the third of the Kings. Rookie autograph. That could be a huge card right there. We filled that NT already, so as soon as we're done with the with the eBay stuff, we'll at least do that. And then after that we'll work on, you know, fillers for whatever's close to going. We got a Spencer Haywood autograph for the Lakers. Two autos per box. There they are right there. Got a dream on green to uh, 199 Warriors. Clay Thompson, 2018 Warriors. Can you see this all right? Yeah. Clint Capella, 2018 Rockets. We got Chandler Parsons, 189. Grizzly. Ah, well, this is an insert for the Mets. We got a Ronnie Hood, ninety nine Cavaliers. Oh, maybe the other angle is better. John Wall, 2018, Wizards. Well, baseball's done. Now we can focus on the real sports, like football and basketball. I think the Heat play tonight. Oh, and there's hockey out there, too, you know. I like, I like it a hockey, even though I don't watch it. I can respect it, because they get into fights and stuff. I like that. I like violence. Is that is that wrong? A little bit. Then again, you know, I'm just it just it calls to my uh, to my ancestors. You know, we are hunter gatherers. And don't forget that. Empire, I see how it is, dog. You can't even be bothered to hang out. And talk some shit with me. I see how it is. It's cool. You know, I don't take it personally at all. You know, no, no, you know. Well, Jose, you know what I call that? I call that a hashtag opinion. Just like mine is a hashtag opinion, too. And you know what they say? Everybody's, ent everybody's entitled to their own. That just happens to be mine, man. Don't get me wrong. Baseball's fun. It's a fun sport. Playing it is, a, is awesome. But me personally... I don't, I don't find it entertaining to watch. Like I can appreciate it for what it is, and how difficult it is to hit a, you know, hit a baseball going 100 miles an hour that can move, you know, in any which way. And you have less time 
you have about the same amount of time that it would take you to blink. You have that much time to react on whether or not to, you know, swing for that. So I can appreciate how difficult a sport baseball is. But the fact remains, Uncle Jesse is not a big fan. That's it. Point blank, period. I would much rather see some dude get dunked on than see some guy get a base hit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hashtag, I'm not sorry. But at the same time, yeah, see, exactly. The baseball cards, is, uh, is that's what it's all about. That is where it originated from, if I'm not mistaken. They used to put little baseball cards in, uh, in, in tobacco products, uh, I believe. Way back in the day, in the beginning of uh, jolly old United States of America. As far as I know, that's from what little research I've done to dig into the origins of the uh, of the hobby, if you will. And then, of course, as you know, sports started to become larger and larger than life, thanks to its uh, ath you know athletes such as uh, Michael Jordan, for example. You know, this this stuff took off. Basketball is my favorite sport, if anybody's wondering. Not that you were, but uh, Kareem to 189, Lakers. Uh, hold on, how was I? Yeah, that's right. There we go. Got to separate this stuff here. Makes our, uh, our life easier when we got to sort it. Lakers were once down by 316 points, came back one by two. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, uh, uh, I don't know if that's a joke or not, but uh, if it was, I gotta say that was that was pretty bad. Javon Carter Grizzlies autograph. I like these uh, amplifier inserts. Yeah, Jay, don't uh, don't quit your day job anytime soon to be a comedian, dog. That was one of the driest jokes I've ever read. Put some put some put some goya on that joke, dog. Some adobo. You know, let, let that thing marinate overnight and come back again tomorrow. How about that? Hey, Chris Paul, 499 Rockets. Russell Westbrook, 2018 Thunder. We got a Clay Thompson, 2018 Warriors. And and what's and why is that bad though, Jose? How is that uh how is that bad? I would like to understand your point of view, my good sir. Spencer Dinwiddie to 25 Nets. Shout outs to the Boston Red Sox and other bandwagon fans, I mean, and their fans, for uh, winning that championship. Oh, dude, the last five minutes of, bas of a basketball game are probably the best five minutes of, like, any sport. Especially if it's a close game. The Big O! Oscar Robertson of the Bucks. The original Mr. Triple Double right there, if you didn't know. I like basketball, period. For that, for that, for what's up, Aaron? For that reason you stated, uh, Jay, 
That's why I love basketball, dude. You could be up by 30. You could be up by 50 points heading into the fourth quarter, and you could still lose that game. That's what I love about basketball is it's so it's unpredictable. You, you, you never know what's going to happen. The swings in a game are ridiculous. The three-point shot is, you know, one of the most revolutionary changes in any sport since it's been, you know, in effect. Like, dude, I that's why I love basketball. You never know what's going to happen. And it's a true team sport when played correctly. It's, it's, it's also one of the few sports where you could have one, maybe two, three players, and that'll be enough to, you know, bring you a championship. But even that doesn't last. Heck, exactly, Aaron. That's that's what I like about basketball, is man. You 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 know, in five minutes you could change the game. And then it's it's amazing, dude. It's I, I it's it, it it never fails to amaze me. And I've seen it happen many times where, exactly how you say, a team is up by thirty and they end up losing the in the fourth, they end up losing the game. Like how does that happen? You you get to see how pe you know just people. When they're under duress or when they're, you know, they, they psych themselves out, like, that's awesome to see. How you could be winning a game by so much and then still be rattled enough to lose the game. And, you know, let, let me tell you something about baseball, Jose. It's also one of the most corrupt sports in all of sports. So, before you start, uh, you know, getting on your soapbox about how awesome baseball is, don't forget that it's, uh, it's also one of the most corrupt Heck yeah, Aaron. It was all that's that's what it's about, man. You see, you, you you know, for people that love basketball, they they know what it is. Same as like with you with baseball, Jose. You know, take your style, man. You're gonna be a comedian, damn Jose. I'll see you on that unemployment line real soon, bro. All right, what do we got here? Chandler Hutchinson. He ain't gonna be on no unemployment line anytime soon, cause he's a hot signature rookie for the Bulls. There you go. Ah, gotcha, Jose. Well, either way, I, I stand by everything I said. Joel Embiid, 2018 Sixers. I like football just for the brutality of it. And the fact that there is some, you know, that there, there is some uh, tactic to it, if you will. Joel Embiid, 199 Sixers. I, I, you know, I still stand by my opinion, though, that soccer, a.k.a. as it's really known, football, is the greatest sport ever. And it still is the best sport around the world. Ricky Rubio, 2018 Jazz. The only reason it's not bigger here in the States is because we suck at it. If 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 we're being uh, if we're being honest here, if America was good at soccer, we would all be playing it, bruh. Karis Levert of the Nets, but because we suck so much at it that we we could lose to like a third world country at it, you know, like how how does a first world country lose to a third world country at anything, you know? So.
You should be ashamed. Later, man. That was awkward. I love me some soccer. Nothing like watching somebody win 1-0. Very true, Jose. Very true. We still suck at it, and we should still be awesome at it. No excuse. Clint Capella, 99 Rockets. I have a theory that if uh, if the USA was to ever win a World Cup, which is like the last frontier, because let's be honest, we dominate at whatever we put our mind to. If we could win a World Cup, it'd probably signal World War Three. Al Horford of the Celtics to 2018 right there. America's awesome. Only in America are we world champs at a sport that we created. <laughs> that nobody else plays. <laughs> ah, that is so funny. Yeah, right? That's another good one, man. We're not even, we don't, like, even our, like, American baseball players don't hold a candle to some of these people from islands, man. That's pretty funny, Aaron. Will Ferrell once said that nothing is more American than watching nine guys from the Dominican Republic take the field. <laughs> ah, you know what I love about comedy is the only reason why it's funny is because it's true. But yeah, this is true. All of our good athletes do end up playing basketball and football. I feel like our top athletes, I think like everybody, I don't know, man, that's a, that's a tough one. Because, like, you ask any basketball player, and they'll tell you that they probably wanted to play football. You ask any football player, and they'll definitely tell you that they'd rather play basketball. But baseball? Eh. Baseball is still Amer is America's sport still. I, I don't think that will ever change. It's so deep in, in our roots. I think that'll never change. Baseball will always be America's pastime. But you know, basketball and football players, they just, they look, they're flashier. They're in flashier sports. So they, they kind of look bigger than life, really. And baseball's under a lot, you know, they've, you know, I want to say over the last 30, 40 years, they've been under a lot of controversy, man. A lot of scandals, a lot of problems, and I'm not just talking about performance enhancing drugs, but just in general. I've always wondered, I think baseball, baseball and maybe soccer are probably like, you know, the highest paying as far as all for, for athletes anyway as far as contracts because dude you can play you can play baseball until you're kind of like really kind of old as long as, as long as you can hit that ball you'll probably be in the majors that's another thing you know baseball you can definitely buy yourself a championship you're willing to spend enough money, you can go ahead and do that. But I, I'll be honest, I kind of wish they did that in all sports. I mean, come on, like, like for real. Tell me, tell me that wouldn't be cool. 
then you could just blame your ownership for hey you guys are you guys are cheapskates you don't want to spend the money to get the ball or shot callers pay pay up stop being cheap money is the you know a great equalizer oh i don't want to come play in milwaukee wait you give me how much <laughs> where do i sign Eddie Jones autograph for the Lakers former Miami legend well still a Miami legend really also played for the Heat I want the Knicks to get good again I miss that uh that rivalry we had with the with the Knicks back in the day genuine hatred for one another nothing like it Ooh, that's nice. Milos Teodosic, 2 of 10 for the Clippers. Yeah, I agree to BNB. I agree. I agree 100%. Uh, I was going to say, you know, I think there is going to be a decline in football. And, and I mean, they're, they're trying to change the game. You know, at some point, they, they may as well just let them play flag football instead of, you know, having them hit each other because. It's it's starting to get to that point. Dennis Smith Jr. and A.J. Mavericks. You know, there's there's a there's just I don't know. I love the sport, but I would not play it myself. For that reason, that's you know, funny funny enough. Zanan Musa, Nets rookie auto. I played football, or I tried to anyway. My freshman year of, of high school. And, you know, I got pretty deep into it, blah, blah, blah. You know, played in a game and everything. And then one day in practice on a uh, kickoff return, I got blindsided and I got a concussion for the very first time in my life. And I don't remember the rest of the, the, that day. Like, honestly, I don't even remember how I got home. And that is scary to me that I can't remember the rest of that day. LeBron to 2018 for the Cavs. So, you know, after that, I'm, you know, I made a choice. I finished out the season and then I quit football because fuck that. Clay Thompson, 499 Warriors. You know, if, if this little, if this little kid that weighs 160 soaking wet was able to light me up and, you know, to the point where I can get a concussion, what are these dudes that are 6'6, 280 pure muscle going to do to me? So I was like, yeah, peace out. I'm, I'm gone. So I think we will get better at soccer at some point. Chris Middleton of the Bucks 2018. He is the best basketball team in the past 200 years. Wow, Jose. Now you're... Now you're just trying to get on my good side. <laughs> Aaron Gordon to 199 Magic. I don't know. I will say that I, I think we have... We had two of the most fun teams to watch in the NBA. In like the last 10 years. Or like 10, 20 years, I want to say. The 06 Miami Heat team that won the championship with that scrappy, you know, ragtag crew. And then the uh, the team that beat the San Antonio Spurs in the finals. I believe that was in 2014. Those two teams were fun as hell to watch. Yeah, dude, B and B. It's it's one of those things. Like you know, with the advancements of of medical of, of medicine and technology as well. You know, we're becoming aware of all these. You know, nobody knew what CTE was probably, you know, ten years ago. Well, I'm exaggerating. Well, like 20, 30 years ago, for sure, probably would not check it for that.
And a lot of that stuff, really, I mean, you just, you gotta learn if, you know, you just were never taught how to tackle properly. But we're never gonna stop playing football. Ever. That is. That is an, an American product, and we will continue to play it. Yes, they were fun teams to watch, Aaron. That that honestly, that team should have won the championship that one year. Uh, but uh, Robert Ory had something else in mind when he hip checked Steve Nash into the uh, announcers table or whatever you call that thing there on the sideline speaking of arenas Gilbert Arenas Gilbert Arenas that dude was fun to watch playing basketball agent zero and then somewhere along the line he lost his mind I don't know what happened Yeah, I purposefully stay away from the news. You never hear anything good on the news. It's it's always bad stuff. Like, oh, you know, you never you never turn on Channel Seven or whatever, and it's all like, hey, today, some dude cured cancer. Oh, and you know, today, there were you know, a pair of twins that were per you know born with perfect health. Awesome. Today, nobody died. It's, it's, always, it's always bad. It's never good. Oh, today, world hunger was ended. What do we have here? Jalen Brunson, rookie autograph for the Mavericks. Man, T Mac was very fun to watch. It's a I out bro that how he could never get out of the first round. I will never understand. Mike Scott 189 Clippers. You know, for a time, T Mac and, and Kobe were like more or less on equal footing as far as skills. Bam out of bio with the heat. That's a hot signature. Second year player right there. Baller shot collar. I really like uh Bam out of bio. Still very young, but I think he's gonna be a a great, great player. I think dude, I think he has potential to be a future Miami Heat legend. We, ch we coach our players up in Miami. That's what we do. We develop our talent. Low key, the Heat can make some noise in the East, man. We, if we can stay healthy and get our minds right, and I'm talking to you, Whiteside, we could be a dangerous team. Paul George, Thunder 2018. I'm not saying we can win a championship. But, you know, with the magic of this being Dwayne Wade's last season, who knows, is all I'm saying. Steph Curry, 99 Warriors. Dude, that would be so awesome if we could, like, make it to the Eastern Conference Final. Just making it would be crazy. Steve Francis, another baller. Stephon Burberry, he was uh he was fun to watch too. I miss playing NBA Street. Those games are so much fun.
Ha, ah, Jose. Man. That was, uh. That was pretty bad. Landry Schmidt to 189 for the Sixers. That's pretty good. I have yet to hit me a Luka Doncic auto. I have yet. It eludes me so. Donovan Mitchell, 2018 Jazz. Oh, we're halfway through. Hey, listen, Aaron, don't hate the play. I hate the game, dog. Don't hate the play. I hate the game. I know, Jose. I know, I know. I can take a joke. I can take a yoke. Pat Riley, man. Pat Riley is like the last godfather of the NBA, bro. As long as he's running the show here in Miami, we got a chance. Hey, well, listen, not for nothing, Aaron, Lamar Odom was a key player in the Lakers championship run. Uh, post, post Kobe. I mean, post uh, Shaq. I don't know how you guys took Brian Grant. <laughs> Assuming you're a Lakers fan. Uh, Karan Butler, hey, Karan Butler, great player. Don't disrespect Karan Butler. He was a great player. Couldn't work out with uh, with the Lakers because he, he he dominates the ball much like Kobe. And you're not going to pick Karan Butler over Kobe. That's kind of duh. So, you know, that's why that didn't work out. But Lamar Odom was crucial to those uh, Laker championships. Oh, Haslam is that dude. I need me a Haslam jersey, actually. This is true, Jose. This is true. You know? Not many people had an extra Xbox controller back in the day. And lean was hard to find. Like, good lean was hard to find back in the day. So, they, you know, Lake, Lakers got something out of it. They got something out of it. Yeah, you know, and... Those Xbox controllers could double as weapons too, so you know, you know, don't uh, don't discredit that. All right, well, I can't help but point this out, but I found me a Redback, Jonathan Simmons Magic. The uh, Redbacks are are a little rare, a, a little rare. Do I see another one here? Oh well, speaking of a uh, rare, here's another Redback. Landry Shamet for the Sixers. Ah, the sounds of traffic. What is what is AM PM? Is that like a radio station or something? If I remember correctly, Andrew Bynum was kind of it was kind of a tech geek. I think he's low key pretty paid. I think he invested in some technology. I could have sworn I read like an article about that, so like like the top ten NBA players that are stupid rich that you have no idea are stupid rich. Uh, Eli 
a Kobo Sixers rookie auto. Oh, it's like a 7-Eleven. Damn, AMPM. That sounds pretty dope. Do y'all have a nickname for it? AMPM. That's pretty dope. I dig it. Speaking of places like 7-Eleven, we're about to get a Wawa down the street from the crib. Which, for you know, for those of you guys that don't understand uh, Ebonics or slang, the crib uh, is another way of saying my home, my house. The crib, get it? You know, because you know you're in a crib when you're a baby, so the crib is well, anyway, whatever. Yeah, there's a dude. There's gonna be a Wawa a mile from my house. Oh man, that's big time. Gerald Henderson, senior of the Celtics. Because you want to know how many Wawas I've seen in Miami? Zero. That's how many. Zero. You only see Wawas when you get out of Florida. Or in, like, northern Florida, like Tallahassee, like Tallahassee area. Everybody from Florida knows that doesn't count as Florida. That's, like, low-key Alabama out there. But yeah, dog, we get in a Wawa. I've I've only ever been a, again. I've only ever been to a Wawa when I've been outside of uh, Florida, and I love it. They got the they got some pretty bagging subs in in, in the Wawa. The Martin Rose in twenty eighteen Raptors. We do got Boston Market. We do have Boston Market. Boston Market, not for nothing, is uh, one of the most underrated. Of the chicken joints you know i, I want to say there's like a big three of the chicken joints you know there's kfc and in no in no specific order here there's kfc there's popeyes and then you know the third one is kind of up for debate you know if people are going to say zaxby's you know but the zaxby's is not everywhere some people are going to say bojangles you know or 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 well, what, what's that other one? Uh, Crystals, I think it is. I don't know. But one thing I do know is this uh, backstage pass for Steph Curry, 6 of 10, is pretty freaking sweet. I'm going to top load that. Don't believe the hype about In-N-Out Burger? Yeah. It's funny you mention that because uh, I actually have some uh, some of my best friends are actually in California as we speak. And they've been there a few times. And that's one thing they've told me is like, don't believe the hype for In-N-Out. It's, it's kind of eh. Dream on Green, Warriors 99. You know, I just want to go just, just for like, you know, for the Instagram post. You know, as a hype beast and, you know, for hashtag for the culture. Oh, you know. Oh, here, here I am at In and Out. Look at how well traveled I am. Carl Anthony Towns, one ninety nine Timberwolves. You know, you flex it on them, as they say. But there's this other, like, there's this place that they go to, Black House, I think it's called. Looks pretty dope. Auto Depot Pacers, twenty eighteen. I would like to start a, actually I am going to start like a, uh, a little YouTube channel. And, uh, one of my boys, he likes to, uh, he just, he just, he likes to just visit like different, uh, like he like, I don't know, he's one of those explorer types. You know, he likes to try out new restaurants and, and things like that. And he's bougie. If you guys don't know what the, what the, what, what the word bougie means. Is that he he thinks he's fancy, but he's not. He's one of those kind of people, you know. I think it'd be funny to make like a like a like a like one of those travel show foods, you know, like a satire on those, and have like my boy be the uh, the host, if you will. I think it'd be pretty funny. Anyway, Nicholas Batum, ninety nine Hornets. I gotta entertain you guys somehow here, you know, because uh, this is not exactly one of the funnest breaks to watch. So, 
if I can at least run my mouth to keep one myself and you engaged, I'm going to do that. Because this is brutal. So many cards. Oh, dude, Whataburger is the sh is the shiznit. There used to be one literally like right down the street from my apartment back in college. And man, I would go to Whataburger at least once a week. All right, who am I kidding? At least once every two or three days. I would go to Whataburger. So fire. I, I, don't, I haven't seen one. That, and that, mind you, that was in Orlando. I went to college in Orlando. And I, I, I've never seen any, any in South Florida. I haven't seen any, you know, on my, on my travels across the USA. And anytime I ask, you know, because I like to, you know, anytime I'm somewhere new, I like to ask the locals, like, hey, what's good around here? You know, so, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, like the tourist that I am. And then, I, you know, I, I like to ask for, for, the, for the good old good olds. Like, oh, where's the McDonald's? You know, where's, you know, such and such. Oh, do you guys happen to have a Whataburger? And, like, I want to say more often than not, actually pretty much every time I've asked, they say, oh, dude, I love Whataburger. We used to have one, but such a heartbreaker. I feel like Whataburger is like a, it's, it's like a mythic, mythic tale. You know, it's like, it's like you, you remember eating there, but like somebody, somebody incepted you into thinking that or something. I don't know. Do we have Rudy's Barbecue in Miami? No, we do not. Or at least not to my knowledge. I'll be, I'll be honest. Barbecue, like in the traditional sense of what of how Midwesterners see barbecue, barbecue is not really like a big thing in Miami. Or at least not like, you know, going to barbecue joints. Like we, we would rather have a, like throw a barbecue, you know, at the crib. You know, we would rather throw a barbecue, but going to like a barbecue like restaurant, there's not too many of those in Miami. In Miami, you're you're more so gonna see like Caribbean restaurants, you know, like Cuban, Puerto Rican, Jamaican, Haitian, you know, Mexican, Colombian, you know, like that that's what I love about Miami. It's it's like no other place really in, in, in the USA. It's it's really a, a melting pot of cultures, man. You got your Central Americans, you got your South Americans, you got your you know people from the islands out here. You got people, you know, you got people from the rest of the United States that come down here to like retire. And then you have you have also your tourists from around the world because you think of Miami and the first thing you think of is you know palm trees, beaches, beaches, you know both beaches, <laughs> and uh, and you know and let's be honest, drugs. So it's 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 a big uh, it's just a big old orgy here in Miami. But the food is awesome. We got Bruce Brown to 25, rookie for the Pistons. Man, I love barbecue, man. That, that's one of the things that pains me is, like, there's really not that many barbecue joints here. And when and, and the ones that they do have, it's, like, generic barbecue. It's, like, I could do way better at my house. Doug Collins of the Sixers with the Hoops autograph. That's kind of cool for the Sixers right there. Yeah, and you would not be wrong, Aaron. You would not be wrong. B&B, &B, where are you located, if you don't mind me asking? Jarevko to 99 Warriors. Like, where are Whataburgers? Like, Whataburgers, again, it's like... 
Like, everybody's been there, but nobody's been there. They're all closed down somehow. Rudy's is fast food barbecue? What? That's crazy. Oh, you're in Kentucky, b and B. I've actually been to Kentucky once. And I've actually had, like, Kentucky Fried Chicken in Kentucky. Not for nothing, but the Kentucky Fried Chicken in Kentucky, way better than KFC anywhere else. Will Barton, 199 Nuggets. Anthony Davis, 2018 Pelicans. Right, and you would not be wrong, Jose. We got a lot of them here. Dante Exxon, 189 Drayas. I love Miami. It's just too dang expensive to live here, man. I'm considering making a move to Georgia, but that would be like in the future. I already have family that live up there. But yeah, Ben Simmons, 2018 Sixers. There's a Whataburger in Corpus Christi all over on the West Coast. Oh, man. Jelly. Jelly. I want some Whataburger. You know what? You know what's really overrated, though? And it pains me to say this. White Castle. Supremely overrated. Oh, my God. Uh, James Harden, 2018 Rockets. Uh, no, I have not, Jose. I have not. Uh... We actually have a club called Mansion, funny enough. I don't know if that's what you're referring to. But no, I've, I've never. Uh... I'm not the clubbing type. I'd much rather go to a bar. And we got plenty of those. What I love about Miami... As well is that, uh, you know, and so especially like in the Midwest, really, everything closes down hella early, man. Like one, two in the morning tops, a bar joint will be open. In Miami, people are just leaving the house at like midnight. So having a place closed down at two in the morning is unheard of. You know, a bar down here. You know, last call is like at four in the morning, and then you go from that to a bar. You go to a, you know you go to the other you know after hours bar, and that joint doesn't close until like seven in the morning. And then at seven in the morning, you know, you go to like freaking uh, you, you go to Denny's or you go to you know you go to a restaurant or something. You and then you and you go eat. But yeah, pay me to find that out. I have to find out firsthand. White Castle is boo boo. Like it, it doesn't taste bad at first, but then you get like you get you get this aftertaste, or at least I did. And then after that, like you know, when you go to the bathroom, it's 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 not good. A taco, a taco cabana. I've never heard of that. Maybe we do, but I've, I've never heard of it. What up, Jesse? 
My man says, uh, I wasn't going to say nothing, but all this burger talk. <laughs> I got to tell you, I mean, a thick bacon burger topped with lobster. What? First of all, okay, I've heard of surf and turf, but that's borderline. Uh, I don't know what that is. I ain't never heard of that combo in my life. A bacon burger with lobster on top, butter, garlic, cheese sauce. Okay, you got me on the butter, garlic, cheese sauce. I ain't gonna front. That sounds fire. And you had you had me at, with the bacon bacon burger. Okay, you had but a uh, but lobster though. I figured it's home g homemade, but like I can't even begin to process the flavors. Oh, gotcha, Aaron. Yeah, that's that must be a West Coast thing. We don't got that down here. But we do have a bunch of 24-hour joints. We got this place called Yambos. They sell, like, uh, Nicaraguan food, which is called Fritanga, which is very popular here in, in Miami. That place is 24-7. Uh, we got this place called Casolas. Is this a chat Italian joint? They sell pizza 24-7. Uh, if you're in South Beach... We got a bunch of restaurants that are open 24-7. And, you know, and even in the, in the neighborhoods, of course, you know, McDonald's is always 24-7, Denny's, IHOP, blah, blah, blah. Dude, Jesse, I'm still trying to process the whole lobster situation. Well, mind you, I don't think I've ever had lobster in my life. But I can only assume that it's kind of like shrimp in the sense of its its uh, its texture, I guess, like its chewiness, and maybe maybe eat maybe the same taste. I, I don't know. But uh, I'm not a big seafood fan. We got uh, Jonathan Simmons, 99 Magic. Oh, dude, we got bakeries all around Miami that are open 24-7, too. We got these things called pastelitos. Oh, yeah. Get you a little cafecito with a pastelito. You eat that, bro. And, you, dude, you'll be ready to go back to the club. You know, there, there's a reason why meth never took off in Miami. And that is because of the Cuban coffee. Oh, my God. Hamido Diallo of uh, the Thunder rookie. You know, we, we we affectionately call it Black Magic or uh, or Black Crack or Liquid Crack, actually. That stuff will put hair on your chest, boy. You know, Kramer, another thing about Hispanics is that we have, you know, we may use the same words, but they all mean different things to, you know, depending on where you're from. So frito, Ricky Rubio, 2018 Jazz. So frito for us, and I'm for us, I mean Colombians, because I'm Colombian, uh, or I should say I have Colombian, you know, background. Uh, so frito for us would be like stuff that's refried. You know what I mean? Like left, like refried left, like you know, leftovers. Things like that, Nate. Like, that's what we consider sofrito. Rajon Rondo, 99 Pelicans. I think for, for Puerto Rican, sofrito is like a, like a paste that you use to, like, season food or something like that. I don't even know what that is, Jesse. Portillos, that sounds fire. Ooh, a Shaquille O'Neal. 
Lakers autograph to 25. That is noise. Oh, empanadas are, are fire as hell too, baby. Oh, man, don't get me started. Empanadas. Arepas. Bro, we got all the hot stuff, bro. What? You know, if you guys are ever in Miami, that it's that's that's like one of the things I would recommend. Like if you want to get a, like a true Miami experience, go to go to like a little mom and pop shop, a little a little bakery. Have your little pastelito, you know, an empanada with some, you know, a little, little Cuban coffee, man. Zanan Musa, one ninety nine nets. Uh, when's the prison number three? Uh, so let's see. I got archives baseball number three after this. I got two boxes left, by the way. Uh, so archives baseball number three after this. Then I have Phoenix football number one, and then we got prison football number three after that. That is the schedule. Uh, L. Horford, Celtics twenty eighteen. Oh man, you talking about those uh uh pan con biste? Oh hell yeah, them steak sandwiches, bro, fire. That's another thing that's big down here, sandwiches. And believe it or not, hot dogs too. Hot dogs are pretty big in Miami. Oscar Robertson 109 bucks. Now that, I, now that I think about it, like, handheld foods are really, like, a big thing in Miami. Because Miami, we're, we're laid back, but just like any big city, you know, people are, are always on the go. You know, everybody's got something to do here in Miami. You know, everybody's constantly moving, doing things. So now that I think about it, really, like, some of our, of our most popular food is, like, handheld food. You know, stuff you could eat on the go with one hand. Oh, yeah, I've heard of those, Aaron. I have heard of those. Uh, don't they call those like... Um, oh, I forgot the name of it. Yeah, Empire. Uh, uh, again, uh, I'm I'm working on, on getting this uh, this YouTube channel going, and I, I want to do like a, I want to do like a little mini documentary on Miami. It'd be like a, a little mini movie documentary that I would have for my YouTube channel. That I'm uh, I'm working on. It's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while before uh, before I actually launch it. Cause right now what I want to do is I just want to get as much content as I can. And of course I gotta edit the videos and blah blah blah. But before I upload anything, I want to have like a catalog of stuff. At least for a few, for like maybe two months worth, where every week I can upload something from my catalog. It'll be fresh to, to the people. It'll be old to me, but you know, that'll give me like a, you know, some, like a little buffering period there where I could like work on, on new things and stuff like that. Exactly, Empire, that's, that's what I was thinking of doing. Anthony Bourdain, rest in peace. He had uh, he has a few episodes on Miami, and you know, not for the most part, he does you know a decent job of representing you know Miami and, and its roots and stuff like that. But nobody's ever really gone to like the hood, and you know, gone gone to like a place down south to go buy some jerk chicken from an authentic Jamaican joint, or or oxtail from a Haitian joint. 
or you know what I'm saying? Because more often than not, they're in they're in the hood, and people are afraid to go there. Uncle Jesse ain't afraid. I got that hood. I got that hood pass. So in the in the YouTube channel, you gonna get that true 100% Miami experience. But anyways, let's uh go ahead and finish this up here. We got Ryan Anderson to 299 Suns. Paul George, 2018 uh, Thunder. Dude, Aaron, oh man, that's one of my big dog. That is such a huge dream of mine, dog. Oh my god, I would love to see that. The Anthony Melton Sons uh, auto rookie autograph. That, bro, oh my god. Speaking of, of mythical creatures, that Bang Bus truck is uh, is another one of Miami's little 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 uh, secrets. J.R. Smith, 99 Cavaliers. Dude, that is, that would, what? Getting picked up by the Bang Buzz, dog? Oh, you know what? It's not even Rip City after dark yet. Come on. All right, Chris Middleton, 2018 Bucks. Man, that would be awesome. LeBron James, 2018 Cavs. Good old traffic in Miami. Can't nobody drive around here. Except me. I'm a pretty awesome driver. I put my turning lights and in, in, in signals and all. What do we have here? For the Hawks, Jeremy Lin to 25, the autograph. Man, I pulled a Shaq autograph. I don't think I've ever seen a Shaq autograph. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Do you guys have this Plake's uh, Steak and Shake? I feel like that's uh, all around the country, like Denny's. Place called Steak and Shake. Oh wow, Aaron, really? No, man. Yeah, y'all got that steak and shake? That's a solid little joint. You know what I wish they had? I wish they had like a fast food pizza joint. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they like they they make personal pizzas. I know I do, Aaron. It's just I mean I've never seen them before. It's not like they're big here either. They're not like oh my god, it's Stugatz and Dan Levitard. Oh my god, no, no it's not like. Like if I if I were to see them in the streets, 
Like, I probably would just walk past them. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like, there's no... I would say they're, they're not a big deal in Miami. They're pretty freaking hilarious, but you know, given Miami standards, there's uh, yeah, there's there's better, I would say. You know, they they bring they bring that 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 Spanish flavor. But they don't really do it like, man, like if you do, like if you were to listen like to some of these Spanish uh, like talk talk shows that they have here in Miami, dude. The stuff that they talk about is so like, bro. It's 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 just it's hilarious. Oh, dude, I would definitely have a beer with Dan Levitard and Stu Gatz. They're cool people. I'm just I'm just like I'm not one of those people that like like I wouldn't go out of my way to ask like Magic Johnson for an autograph. Or Dwayne Wade, you know what I mean? And Dwayne Wade is arguably my favorite, my favorite, or my favorite player. You know, Allen Iverson is my favorite player. I wouldn't go up, you know, I wouldn't go up to him and be like, "Hey, dude, can I get an autograph?" Like, I'm just not that kind of person. Unless it's Rihanna. If Rihanna's in the vicinity, then. I might do something illegal. All right. The time is upon us. The last box mojo. This break took me about an hour and a half. A little under an hour and a half. Oh, gotcha, Aaron. No, not, not really, man. I, I would assume that if they would hang anywhere, they would hang in the South Beach area. And I'm very rarely out there. Shy Gilgis Alexander, rookie for the Clippers. Your, your boy Uncle Jesse is from the hood, dog. B to the Sixers to 99. Rozier Celtics 2018. Padam. Should be getting one more auto. James Harden, 2018 Rockets. I am Toisty. The Rosa, 2018 Raptors. Chanzo. So how was everyone's weekend? Aaron, Empire, what'd you guys do for the weekend? Hashtag charge that phone, Empire. Got Stacy Ogman of the Hawks with the autograph. I believe that's gonna do it as far as the autos is concerned. Let's see. Oh, 
broken. We got Anthony Simmons, 189 Blazers. And that's going to do it, my friends. We got the rookies and all that stuff separated there. Boom. Alright, so before I recap, I'd like to uh, give one to each on these if I have duplicates. However, I do not have duplicates. So let's random this. I'm going to roll a die. If I get an odd number, left side team, even number, right side team. Odd left, even right, odd left, even right. Here we go. Odd number three, so it's going to go to the left side. So this goes Grizzlies, Mavericks, Rockets, Warriors, Grizzlies, and Thunder. You went to a, a pumpkin and chili party? You know, of all things that should not go together, I think those would be highly on my list. Pumpkin and chili are like on such odd ends of the spectrum. Like, what? I'm assuming that was one of those things the wife forced you to go on. Alright, so there it is. So my sorters know what's up with that. Alright, now let's recap, baby. So we got uh, Stacy Ogman Hawks, Shia Gilgis, Alexander Clipper, Jeremy Lin of the Hawks to 25, DeAnthony Melton Sons, Hamidou Diallo Thunder, Doug Collins Sixers, Bruce Brown of the Pistons to 25, Gerald Henderson Sr. Celtics, uh, Elio Cobo Sons, Bam Adebayo Heat, Jalen Brunson Mavericks, Zanan Musa Nets, Eddie Jones Lakers, Karis Levert Nets, Chandler, Chandler Hutchinson Bulls, Javon Carter Grizzlies, Spencer Haywood Lakers. All right, still uh, not done here. Oscar Robertson of the Bucks, Marvin Bagley the third Kings rookie, and Shaquille O'Neal of the Lakers to twenty-five the autograph. And we also got some low-numbered parallels. We got a backstage patch for Steph Curry. Number 6 of 10 for the Warriors. I'm sorry. And uh, Milos Teodosic, 2 of 10 for the Clippers. And that's it for the break. Thank you, eBay. We'll get it out to you.